Well, welcome back. In the country music world, there is a rising star you will soon be hearing a lot more of. His name is Matt Stell, and industry insiders are calling him the one to watch. And his latest single, Everywhere But On, is currently on the top 15 on the country charts. And we'd like to say hi to singer-songwriter Matt Stell. Welcome to Houston Life. Hey, man, thanks for having me, y'all. It's pretty awesome that my mom is, uh, is an industry insider. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, moms have a lot of pull in this world, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love There's also a little bit of a Houston connection for you here, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I, I've got family down there around the woodlands. I, uh, I'm down there around Montgomery, Texas, playing golf every now and then. I kind of started playing music down there, made my first record uh, in Houston. So, uh, yeah, man, I've... I've uh, Spent a lot of time in that area for sure. And Matt, you have a really interesting story about how this all started. You are self-taught on guitar and you decided you would just ditch medical school, right? And pursue a career in music. <laughs> well, sort of, that's sort of like, so I had moved to Nashville to, to be a songwriter and actually been around Texas for a while and uh, had some success writing songs uh, there in that scene and then moved to Nashville to try to do it here. And, Hadn't got the opportunities uh, that I wanted, and, and um, after a after a medical outreach trip to Haiti, I worked alongside some doctors there, and I thought, man, if I was going to do something else besides music, I, this would be it. So I applied to a pre medical program uh, up in, at Harvard's Extension School, and and got in, and I was about. I guess two months uh, from packing up and leaving Nashville, headed up there at, at, when I got the opportunity to write songs, which turned into. Uh, an EP that had uh, a song on it called "Pray for You" that kind of changed my life, and now I, you know, we're we've got the single "Everywhere But On" that's uh, one of my favorite songs I've ever written. So it's it's been a crazy journey for sure. It's really incredible just to hear it because a lot of times when we're listening to the music, we're seeing you climb the charts, right? And we don't really hear a lot about the backstory. Uh, it's really incredible how the stars aligned in your world. Um, let's talk a little bit about quarantine life for you, Matt, because the last time you were here in Houston for concerts was back in December. You played at the uh, 100.3 The Bulls 10-man jam, one of our favorite mm -hmm. events here in town. We love them over there at The Bull. Um, so that was kind of one of the last shows that you did. What's life been like for you now? Well, you know, it's been trying to adjust to a new normal. That was one of the last shows that we played. And, um, you know, since then, it's sort of the silver lining to all this is, you know, being a songwriter is I've had way more time to write songs now than I typically would this time of year because we'd be touring pretty heavy. So um, just kind of the new normal for me, writing songs and um, uh, getting less awful at golf is uh, also pretty <laughs> nice. But, um you know, just like everybody else, trying to try to make our way through this, and uh, you know, so far I guess so good. Matt, before the show today, I was watching your music video, If I Was a Bar, and it's it's a lot of fun to watch because essentially you are playing all 13 characters <laughs> in this video. We're seeing it on screen right now. Talk to us about <laughs> shooting uh, a video like this. It must have taken quite a bit of time. Well, it took a, it took a full day to uh, actually that picture right there of that guy of me playing the fiddle. I had to Google which hand the fiddle goes in, which hand the bow goes in, just just <laughs> pop up video style uh, here. But um, yeah, we were basically trying to figure out a way to get creative and, and still follow the the guidelines of you know city, state, and and federal stuff. You know about how we can be safe with uh, with COVID. You know and and. The Dustin Haney, the director, came up with this concept, and I loved it because it, it reminds me of a bunch of my favorite movies, like Coming to America, where and the Nutty Professor, where where uh, they're playing Eddie Murphy's playing right. all those different characters. I always thought that was always like my favorite movies, Coming to America. So that's what I treated it as, and I just basically showed up that morning with every stitch of clothing I've ever owned in my life, <laughs> and uh, we just went through it, and it, it took all day, and and it kind of came out pretty cool. I thought I'm glad y'all liked it. Oh, we do for sure. And just going through sort of like your recent successes, your mom did did not send us this list, by the way. Uh, 2019 was a breakout year for you. Um, let's see, the song Prayed For You is a multi-week number one platinum certified hit. Uh, held the number one spot for two consecutive weeks on Billboard. You also made your Grand Old Opry debut. I mean, what a year. Are you still kind of pinching yourself? Like, this is really me. This is happening. Yeah, none of what you just read sounds like it is associated with my name. Honestly, it still doesn't feel like that. It's a, it's a pretty crazy ride. But I can tell you this, you know, I, I came up uh, playing team sports, playing basketball, and uh, just like in any team sport, man, it's it, uh, 
it takes a whole lot of people being passionate about something that's bigger than themselves to have any of that kind of success. So it really has been a lot of like a, a team, a team win, you know, any, any of those things like, you know, radio play or, you know, gold platinum records and stuff like that. It all takes so many people from radio to industry management creative songwriters and all that all the way on down being passionate about something so we just celebrated as a team win for sure well and speaking of team sports in college uh you played basketball coming in at a height of six feet seven inches matt i hope you have a very tall tour bus for when yeah. those live performances <laughs> resume so before we get to the song it's called everywhere but on i know today you've sent us a very special acoustic version of this song but we do want to remind our viewers this is the title track second single the title track from your ep you co-wrote this already top 15 and climbing on those country radio charts so far 75 million streams that's pretty fantastic man well thank you all very much this is one of my favorite songs i've ever written you know i it's i lived a lot of life in this song uh when i wrote it and then uh, since I wrote it, I've lived most of the rest of it. So uh, it's one that's very, very special to me. I wrote it with two of my best friends. And, uh, man, it's really special to see it uh, you know, resonate with people. And it'd be a song that people care about because I sure care about it a lot. Well, and we're excited to hear this acoustic version. Let's roll the tape. Nice. Oh, that's amazing. Listen, I'm just letting you know we are officially, Derek and I are starting your petition 
for the Houston Rodeo 2021, okay? Let's go. Yes. Let's go, yeah. We need him out here, everybody. I Come on. I think you can do it. And, uh, I mean, I speak for myself and everyone. We are so glad you decided not to go to medical school. <laughs> yes, <Mass>. thank you. <laughs> hey, well, speaking of, A, my mother that we talked about earlier, and, B, the Houston Rodeo, I need to shout my mom out tonight because she is in the state finals uh, barrel race tonight in, in Arkansas. So oh, my word. She well. oh. She's been in polls there tomorrow night. Yeah, my mom's a real bad A, if you... <laughs> that is her. incredible. Incredible. Yeah. That only, is so awesome. That is that is really, really cool. We're going to send her all our good energy, Matt. That's right. Send old Kit Kat some good energy, too. Make sure he turns those barrels real tight. I love it. Kit Kat's the horse. I love it. Hey, listen, we would love to have you in studio when we are back to a normal uh, production here. But in the meantime, we appreciate you and uh, we support you. And thanks for sending in that acoustic version as well. Awesome. We're going to see y'all very soon. Thanks again for having me. Have a great weekend. Sounds you too. Good. Keep climbing those charts, Matt.